Hello, my name is Jones and I'm a professor at Ritsumeikan, Asia Pacific University. And I'm teaching courses such as environmental studies and parks and protected areas, and also biodiversity in the new College of Sustainability and Tourism. In Professor Zhang's class, we have a lot of case studies. We can study from this question to this solution, which is really practical for me. And also we have a lot of field trips, just like this one. So we do have a lot of opportunities for field work. So we cover the basics uh, during the in-class lesson time, but then also say this weekend we're going out into the field and we are conducting visitor surveys so some of the students will get a chance to uh, put those skill sets into practice. This national park is one of the eight national parks selected for the MOE's Mankitsu project to internationalise the national parks and because APU is one of the partners of the park, uh, that means we can utilize our domestic and international students to help improve the multilingual information and also collect data from not only the domestic but also the international visitors to the national park. We are conducting survey for the Ministry of Environment and to investigate whether visitors are willing to pay the donations for the national park conservation. Because in Japan, there is no entrance fee to national park, but a lot of money are needed to preserve the nature. So we are wondering whether visitors can pay amount of money to help to better preserve the nature. By joining the survey, they get very good hands-on skills and communication with visitors. So I think they learned a lot today. Nature conservation starts and ends with field work. So it really encourages students to get out of their classroom and uh, thinking out of the box, get out into the field where we can achieve a lot more of these hands-on skills, whether it's uh, visitor surveys or uh, monitoring the water or the air or even just breathing the fresh air. I think for nature-based tourism, it's a growth market and there are more and more jobs. Uh, but, you know, gradually people are becoming more aware that we need better conservation. For students, it's an exciting time, but it won't necessarily be easy. So students will need a lot of determination and perseverance if they really want to do those kind of jobs that can contribute to uh, environmental conservation.